Cristiano Ronaldo is universally regarded as one of the top two football players in the world. He has put in the work and propelled himself to the top of football, creating a worldwide brand in CR7, which has ventured into clothing, fragrance, and most iconically, football boots. In this video, we're going to compare Ronaldo physically to the average man, take a look at what makes him so great, and also take a medical insight into his MCL knee ligament injury in the Euro 2016 final. Before we start, if you like the content, make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any in the future. And after this, why not take a look at my video on Mo Salah vs The Average Man, which was the first video in this animated sports series. At the start of his career, Ronaldo played for Sporting Lisbon before being bought by United at the age of 18. Ronaldo, 6 foot 1, weighing, according to varied reports, around 84 kg. This compared to the average man in Portugal is tall, as they are listed on average 5 foot 8, 78.7 kg, giving them a BMI of 26.3, indicating that perhaps the average male population in Portugal is slightly overweight. Ronaldo's BMI would be 24.5, however the BMI is only an indicator measurement and should be taken with a pinch of salt as it does not consider athletic body types with high muscle mass. For example, basketball players such as LeBron James would record as very overweight and potentially obese. Ronaldo's body fat, once rumoured to be 1%, is untrue, as this would be unsustainable and a detriment to his health. Elite bodybuilders torture themselves to look as lean as possible and end up recording a body fat of around 3 to 5%. Ronaldo most likely has something such as 7%, which, in comparison to other footballers, is lower, as they are reported to be around 11%. For comparison, the national average in the UK of 18 to 24% in men and a higher total of 25 to 30% in women due to having breast tissue and other childbearing features. But what makes Ronaldo a physical specimen is the fact that he has a reported muscle mass of 50%, allowing him to be fast, strong in the air and a threat anywhere on the pitch. Research done on him shows that despite being 33, Ronaldo has the typical body of a 23-year-old footballer. Joining United at 18, was the start of his world dominance in football and initiated the intense two-horse race to be the GOAT between himself and Lionel Messi for Barcelona. Ronaldo, at the age of 22, already had Ballon d'Or and FIFA Player of the Year nominations before winning his first in 2008 at the age of 23 alongside his first Champions League trophy with Manchester United. The rivalry with Messi became more prolific when Ronaldo moved to Real Madrid for 80 million 2011, joining Messi in La Liga and reigniting El Clasico. Both players are supremely talented, goals tallies being far superior numerically to anyone else in football. Each player has scored far more goals, with Ronaldo scoring 689 goals and Messi 670. In a single calendar year, Ronaldo has scored 69 goals, whereas Messi, with the current record which seems unbeatable, has scored 91. Currently, Mbappe looks like the next in line with a goals tally of 100 before even reaching the age of 20, being purchased for approximately 180 million euros by PSG. Ronaldo is the king of UEFA and might as well take an ownership stake in the company, winning several trophies, five Champions Leagues, the Euros in 2016 with Portugal, and most recently the new UEFA Nations League, scoring a hat trick in the semi finals to dispatch Switzerland. If you were to ask Ronaldo which he values the most, it might be the 2016 Euros, as it was the first for his country, and Ronaldo seems to have a lot of patriotism for his home nation. In the 2016 UEFA Euros final against France, Ronaldo got injured due to a bad reckless challenge from Dimitri Payet, who is now playing for Marseille. Payet came in late, resulting in Ronaldo tearing his medial collateral ligament, the MCL. The MCL is part of the four main ligaments in the knee, the others being the lateral collateral ligament, the LCL, in addition to the anterior cruciate ligament, most commonly known as the ACL, and the posterior cruciate ligament, the PCL, which form a crosshatch in the interior of the knee. The MCL ligament is a wide and flat ligament found on the inner side of the knee joint. It attaches to the medial epicondyle of the femur above, and below, it attaches to the medial condyle of the tibia. An MCL sprain is caused by a powerful force being applied to the side of the knee when the foot is placed on the ground. 
This was exactly the case when Dimitri Payet came flying in recklessly to injure Ronaldo. An MCL sprain can be classed with three grades. Ronaldo had a grade two sprain, meaning his ligament was partially torn. This is in comparison to a grade three sprain where the ligament is completely torn apart. This leads to instability in Ronaldo's knee joint, forcing him to stop playing in the final, becoming perhaps the greatest player manager in world football, leading his team from the touchline, full of patriotism for Portugal. On average, it takes six weeks for an MCL injury to heal. The initial treatment for most MCL tears focuses on reducing the pain and inflammation in the knee while immobilizing it to keep it stabilized. This includes the rice strategy, resting, icing, compressing and elevating the knee. Surgery can be used however to repair torn ligaments but that would only be used in the case of a grade 3 MCL tear. In Ronaldo's case though he did have a small surgery to repair the ligament however usually with any joint injury natural healing with physio and rice is preferred to regain power and stability in the knee. Thanks to good rehab and Ronaldo's excellent state of health he has recovered from the injury better than ever and maintained his status as the GOAT, despite being 34 years old at the making of this video. If you have made it this far into the video, make sure to go and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any future content. This would help me greatly in the future produce more content on a quicker turnover rate and continuing further. Also, comment down below who you think is the greatest of all time and who you would like me to cover next. Remember, it doesn't have to be football, it can be any sport, it can be American football, basketball, cricket, rugby, whatever, and we'll do it.